said they were actually expecting this and they warned that other states across the U.S., they're going to begin confirming their own cases of this new strain as they begin to learn more about the genetic sequence. Now, it's important to note that while this virus has been detected to be, as you mentioned, more contagious, about 50 to 70 percent more than the original strain, they do say it is not any more dangerous. But it's not a reason for the public to panic. Instead, to keep doing what you're doing to stay healthy, while researchers learn more about this new variant. We were informed that this new variant, this new strain uh, that we've identified, obviously, from the United Kingdom, others, some other parts of the globe identified in Colorado yesterday has been identified here in the state of California. It began with an announcement from the governor alongside Dr. Anthony Fauci. There's a lot we know about it because the, our British colleagues have been studying it carefully. And there are things that we will soon learn more about them in a more definitive way. Hours later, the county unveiling more specific details that the second known case of the new variant in the U.S., formerly known as B117, is confirmed in San Diego. Now, we have detected this lineage, but we knew because of travel patterns and because of how prevalent it is in other parts of the, the world, we knew that this was also something we were going to find here in San Diego. It was only a question of when. That question of when was answered Wednesday in the case of a San Diego man in his 30s. He started feeling sick over the weekend and tested on December 29th. He had no known travel history and just one close contact. Again, the case had no history of travel, so we know there's more. We don't know how many. We know that its prevalence for now is relatively low. Dr. Christian Anderson with Scripps Research Institute says prevalence is low at this time because they're now screening other positive tests for this new strain. Anderson was part of the team who studied the whole genome sequencing and was able to match this case to the UK variant. Detecting this lineage here doesn't really change what we need to do other than we need to do it better. And while experts are not surprised to find the new strain, they are now racing the clock to confirm some burning questions. B117 is more contagious, but it's not believed to be more dangerous. They made it clear the virus mutating was expected, and they're hopeful the vaccines will still offer protection. Could this affect the vaccines and pre-existing immunity for people that have recovered from infection? We are hopeful that it won't, but I will say that we just don't have the data yet. With still a lot to learn, the news comes the same day vaccine distribution plans continue across the county. It is a, a somewhat fragmented type system and that a lot of entities get the vaccine shipments directly. And so we are working to try and get a better sense of, of exactly how many have been received. We're, we're a ways away from, from uh, vaccinations available for the general public. That's very important to remember. Still ways away from that. It could be months before the general public begins getting that first dose. And it's also important to point out that Pfizer and Moderna are both rechecking this new strain. They are testing to make sure that their vaccines are effective. It is believed that it is, and it will continue to offer that same protection even to this new mutation. And the CDC is also working with labs across the nation and helping them be able to detect that new sequence that could be the strain of this virus to make sure that they are also tracking all of the cases that they may have as we continue seeing them confirmed in other states. We're going to continue following this for you very closely, but for now, reporting here in Kearney Mesa, Hunter Sowards, KUSI News.